Soon after HWS President Mark Guerin arrived in Geneva, he kicked off the President's Forum, a lecture series designed to bring a variety of speakers to campus to share their knowledge and ideas with students, faculty, staff, and community members. So far, speakers have included Hillary Clinton, Cornell West, and Alan Keyes, among many other formidable politicians, intellectuals, journalists, and social activists. With five speakers this spring, we've had a busy schedule. So I thought I'd give you an inside look into what some of the visiting lecturers had to say. Daniel Rosenzweig, class of 1983, returned to his alma mater to kick off our spring series. Rosenzweig has served as the publisher of PC Magazine, the CEO of ZDNet, President of CNET, and the Chief Operating Officer of Yahoo, all before reaching the age of 40. Today, Rosenzweig is CEO of his own company, Chegg, a website that allows students to rent instead of buy textbooks. What I would hope you all do is recognize that you have the chance to change the world, more so than any other time in our history. Why? because technology, the internet, direct communication, there isn't anybody in this room that couldn't create the next Facebook, the next eBay, the next Google. All of those were created by people who just had an idea, had the courage of their conviction, didn't care what other people said, and went for it. We were also fortunate to host Bishop Gene Robinson, the Bishop of the Diocese of New Hampshire in the Episcopal Church. Robinson is widely known for being the first openly gay, non-celibate priest to be ordained a bishop in a major Christian denomination. Robinson has been an outspoken advocate for civil rights for gay, lesbian, bisexual, and transgender people. It is an amazing thing to be alive right now. And as I was uh, meeting with one of the classes this afternoon, I was, I was saying to them, um, we are in the, in the midst of a, of a great civil rights movement. Uh, not the African American movement in the 60s or the women's movement in the 70s, but the great civil rights movement of our time, while we continue to fight those fights, uh, is for gay and lesbian, bisexual, and transgender people. And it's a, an astounding thing to be a part of. Concurrent with our month-long Disability Awareness Festival, we then heard from award-winning author, journalist, and radio host, John Hockenberry. A paraplegic, having suffered a spinal cord injury in a car crash at the age of 19, Hockenberry has led an illustrious career, winning four Peabody Awards, four Emmy Awards, an Edward R. Murrow Award, and a Casey Medal. Disability is about change. People who deal with change understand that. People who believe that their proximity to change, to sudden change, and their ability to adapt to it is not some sentimental dateline story, but in fact a central human attribute. They understand what the future will bring and will be able to deal with it. Those who don't will just have to be normal. Most recently, the director of the Department of State's Global Women's Issues Office, Ambassador Melanie Verveer, spoke on campus. As part of her duties, Verveer coordinates activities and foreign policy issues concerning the economic, social, and political advancement of women around the world. Women and girls from every continent and the good men who walk with them. I hope that each and every one of you will walk the extra mile to make a difference to create a better world for them wherever they live. This is not just the right thing to do. It is the smart thing to do. Because the rising of the women is the rising of us all. The entire HWS community is fortunate to have access to President Mark Guerin and the continual flow and exchange of ideas he brings to campus. Wrapping up the semester on Tuesday, April 26, in conjunction with the college's celebration of Earth Week, Philippe Cousteau, grandson of Jacques Cousteau and the chief executive officer of Earth Echo International will bring this spring series to a close. It promises to be yet another insightful, thought-provoking talk in what is sure to be a long and enduring President's Forum lecture series.